Hey guys, Cookin95 here. As of the day I'm writing this script, September 30th, 2024, me and my friends PVC2 mod, PVC2 Remixed, has officially been publicly play playable for two years. Two years ago today, like, as of the day of writing, not the day of recording or posting, the day of recording is October 2nd, but that's besides the point. Two years ago then, me and RZ released a pre-alpha demo for PVC2 Remixed. We at the Remix Dev Team would like to thank you, the fans, for all your support over the past two years. Sticking with the mod, even back when it was mid and totally unbalanced, unfunny, and jank. Your feedback and help has done a lot for us over the years in terms of making this mod better. Two of you even became my best friends and made this mod have a dev team again. Palm and Kaporis, you two have helped me make this mod become something. I'll always be endlessly grateful for the work you've done and will continue to do for our project. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you. And now, to celebrate the anniversary, we have a treat for you guys. We're going to show off some content from the next PVC2 Remix update. Unlike usual, it's not a new world, but rather an update focused on polishing up the mod. Basically a major update without the new world. But the, but the major update after that one will be Neon Mix 6 Bar. And the one we're working on now will come pretty soon. But we'll get into that in a bit. First off, we'd like to discuss our history with the mod and give some behind the scenes of Basically, we just want to do this as a way of rewarding you guys. Show us our history. So yeah, let's roll that Kuka95 intro. Jesus, dude, I really need to change it. I haven't updated this in like years. Let's hope a new one comes soon. Can't take, can't take the Welcome to Kuka95! We hope you enjoy your stay! Me, Kuka95. My history with Remix starts at the very beginning. September 5th, 2022. I was watching Koala OM's video about the PVC2 level maker in PVC2C and was like, Wow, I want to make custom PVC2 levels! So I went to my friend, RZ302, and was like, How make them? And then he was basically like, You want to make custom levels? Well then what's like a PVC2 mod? It was really sudden and kind of overwhelming at first, but he helped me learn the basics. Already ideas I wanted to do for a while. These are ideas for a mod called PVC2 Ultimate Edition, which wasn't named after it being some kind of idolized PVC2, it was an entirely a reference to an obscure, mediocre FNAF fan game that I'm pretty sure is soul art. But I thought it had a cool day when I was a kid, so I wanted to reference it. I wanted that PVC2 mod to be one that merged PVC1, PVCA, and PVC2 in the, into one game. Of course, this didn't pan out for the actual mod. But the whole sort of PVZ1 campaign and PVZ2 thing was later modified into the prelude. Which, as you all hopefully know from playing in the lecture by Gaporis, is a campaign of six, ten oval worlds that take place before the worlds of PVZ2 vanilla order wise, and push back PVZ2's main worlds into their own kit plan taking place afterwards, with a higher difficulty meshing the fact they're farther into the game. The mod was very janky and made the player have to do a lot of janky shit to even get it to work back in the day. At least things slowly got better over time, and the dev team also no longer existed because RZ left shortly after the demo came out because he got burnt out on PVC and just faded into the sunset. And so for a long time it was just me working on the mod, and all I really got was some outside help from others. There wasn't any peer review, and I kinda just did things I thought would be cool. <sighs> Ugh. Due to that, my lack of experience and my deep my lack of deep thinking about the gameplay of PVC. It led to a very mediocre mod, made worse by the fact that my humor was quite unfunny at that time, because the mod was pretty unbalanced. The balancing wasn't all bad, of course, but it wasn't really like today. Today's remix balancing is more focused on making every play fun to use, feel unique, have a purpose, and be at least somewhat useful in film. But back in the day, it was mainly about making every play as strong as possible without being boring. This was due to a mix of reasons. I enjoyed the chaos of strong plants versus strong waves at the time. It was also my way of rebelling against what I thought PVC2 mods were like at the time. And it was a pretty flawed understanding. All I knew of other mods was dev diaries I saw in my YouTube recommended and um, gossip from other people, like friends and stuff. So I was under the untrue impression that every mod's balancing was based around the idea of nerfing such reworking every plant to be as bad as possible while still having the game be beatable. And I hated that. I, 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 wanted, I wanted things to be fun. I wanted things to be good. I wanted to rebel against that. 
It's also because I was just used to Vanilla's broken balance, and I thought that the that I kind of just saw that as the the reference I should use for balancer. Using Vanilla as a reference for balancing is not good. But then around September of 2023, something changed. During the development of the Lost City update, the remix dev team would be formed. My best friends Bomb and Gaporis decided to join my side at working on this mod to help make it better. They had already been trying to help me in the past as they had been longtime players. But with this update, that work would become their passion project too, not just a thing they were doing fan stuff for. Though the dev team didn't truly form until, until after the update fully dropped, that was when we made our dev chat and started having actual planning and communication. We'd fix up the last city updates with some hotfix patches to try and make it less shit. And then we'd move on to the far future update. It was the first update of the mod where it wasn't bleh. And the first world to be of an actually acceptable quality upon release. Like seriously, you don't know how big of a deal this was. Every other mod sucked on release. Like yeah, it still needed tweaking, but like, it didn't suck. It took the longest of any update to make it 5 months. And we had to uproot the mod a lot to fix its countless core issues, which, you know, too easy to get into. But if you've been following the mod for a long time, you probably know what we mean. But if you want to know what we did fix, just watch that update's trailer or something. It should just find it in the whole pl the whole playlist of remixed update trailers. It should be there. Yeah. This was the turning point of the mod. And since then, we've been doing our best to squash all the jankiness piece by piece in time for when the mod fully releases and exits beta. That'll be one of the fuck of modern day drops, but that's forever from now. Probably a couple years, like another two years, but we'll see, we'll see. And that's been my history with Hamad, although that's not the only person whose history will be discussed. The other devs' history will be discussed too. This is our mod, after all. Even if not everyone gives them the credit they deserve for their work, the next dev will recap the history of his bomb. Sadly, he's on a car trip with family as of writing, and can't write or record his own recapping of his history. So I'll do it for him. I'll be going off of my own memory and what he's told me. Like, plus a recap, like, he gave me a recap, like, of some info that I needed to include, like, before I wrote this. So yeah, let, let's get into that. Bomb's history with Remix starts on November 21st, 2022. He joined after watching my old Creeps and NJ-inspired plan essays which I think are pretty bad in retrospect. Like, I'm really not proud of those. Like, they got a lot of views, and people mostly really like them, but I still think they suck. Yeah. He, he, he watched the Explodonut one, uh, about how Explodonut is one of the best plates of vanilla PVC 2 that I made, because stupid idiots kept saying it was mid and useless, even though it's genuinely mind-bogglingly powerful and is a meta-centralizing threat. Like, seriously, how do you people think it's E tier? What is wrong with you? <clears throat> Anyways... So yeah, he saw that vid, got curious, and joined Club Kid to see what was up. He saw our server icon, which is doing up for my books. And he was like, what the fuck is that? Some kind of anime shit? Is it the guy who runs the server weird? And decided he would troll. But he never ended up do doing that. Sometime after joining, we ended up in a VC together where he ran to me about how much he hates Ace Attorney 2 Case 3 be because it's dog shit and promotes pedophilia and other shit. It it's a long story. If you're an Ace Attorney fan, you'll know what we're talking about. You probably aren't, so you probably don't know what we're talking about. Okay, that sounds kind of stupid in retrospect, but whatever. That ended up being the start of our relationship, and we'd eventually become best friends. Sometime after, during, before, I honestly don't remember, he decided he would try PVC2 Remix as he had been baked into RFL at the time and wanted to try out other mods. He didn't like it at all. Yet, he couldn't admit that fact to himself because he wanted to be nice. Like, deep down, he really disliked it, but he couldn't bring himself to say that or admit it to himself because he felt too bad about it. Despite all that, he still really wanted to make the mod better. He tried to do it by submitting a set of fan levels known as B-Sides, which would later become official after he joined. He says he felt making B-Sides would somehow make Remix better. He kept playing the mod for reasons that I don't actually know. Until the formation of the dev team, which he joined because he wanted to help make this mod not mid and actually good. Which he did! He's done a lot for the mod, he mainly writes dialogue and almanac entries and makes levels, including all of the ultimate battles. His work for the mod has been instrumental in making it better, and has allowed him to get better as a level maker himself. He also has helped me make the mod's balance better, and helped start the whole idea of balance being more focused on fun and purpose rather than 
mere strength and rebelling against some flawed concept of what other mods are like. Oh, I owe a lot of that to him. To this day, we're still, we still come up with remix balance mostly ourselves, but Kapoor still get, has input, of course, and sometimes he'll do things entirely himself. Speaking of Gaporis, she is next and the last day of Gaporis. Her history with Remix begins on November 2nd, 2022. She joined Club Kid to play Remix like most people do, and actually felt somewhat positive about it. She still recognized the deep flaws, but despite that, she saw potential. She kept playing and tried to help out through various outside meads, mainly making the level guide, which still exists and is updated to this day and is now official. She of course joined the dev team because she wanted to bring out that potential and fix the mod's deepest flaws. We were already pretty good friends at the time, but working on the mod helped us become best friends. But Porus has done a ton of work for the mod, mainly coding stuff, which is helping eradicate the level pack system and adding the prelude world map, doing tons of debugging, coding a lot of the new zombies, doing lots of polishing and fixing up other various aspects, and even occasionally doing dialogue omen I can choose some levels. Her endless and repeated work on making this mod better has been instrumental to making the mod not mid. It's and her work is something I'm eternally grateful for. And now, a, a look into the next major update of PVC2 Remix. This update may not have a new world in it, but it'll still have several fixes to improve the mod's quality, as per usual, including some things which might be quite big. We won't reveal everything now, as we don't want to reveal our entire hand, as we still have to keep things to ourselves until release. Just know, there's more than just what we're saying. The first thing we're doing is the classic level improvements in replacements and Remix. We know a lot of you guys don't check these out, but it's new content we think you should. So, check out the ones from the last update if you haven't already. Adventure Mode's levels are getting some cleaning, including nerf, including nerfing the guard battles and goodbye status to be more fair and less painful, as well as redoing the tutorial levels to actually be enjoyable. Included in the remade Adventure levels is also the first time Bomb has remade slash replaced any of his old Adventure levels. He felt pretty unproud of a couple. Specifically, Crater Issues and Coldus Castle, and replace them with way better levels that we hope you try out and enjoy once the update drops. The update doesn't just redo existing adventure levels, though. It also goes back and replaces a ton of the mod's bonus levels. An issue with bonus levels and remakes is a lot of them were added to fill slots and were pretty bad as a result. Whether them being not good fan levels or not good hour levels, we decided to dedicate a lot of time and effort to remaking a lot of these. These to be replaced by actually golden fun levels to further incentivize you to guys to play our bonus levels. Because we feel like they're often underplayed by the community. And they're only ever really touched by the most hardcore of remix players. We've also done a decent amount of sprite improvements, such as improving the sprites of Stick Pack Zombie and Zeeweed, as well as removing Dwayne the Rock Johnson from remix as we're trying to not be a meme mod. Stick Pack sprites are still unfinished though, and are subject to change. We've also entirely read on the sprites for Scuba Zombie, turning him into Diver Zombie. He could be better, but he looks a lot better than the old Scuba did. He mainly replaced Scuba with Diver because we hated the fact that he was just an Among Us joke with a Mung Drip shoes and a Boba bed cape. We thought it was too meme moddy and wanted to remove it. And we're glad we did. Plus, we're pretty happy with, D with Diver now. We've also made the Far Future minecarts have blue glass bottoms. So sleek and futuristic. But there is one thing here that we haven't, that wasn't in the script because we did it after I wrote the script. Sun Gun. Remember Sun Gun? You know how his art was always very not good looking in the mid? Well, we redrew him. Together, me and Bomb have put our heads together and created a new Sun Gun design. And the new Sun Gun design is basically just what we wanted Sun Gun to be, but actually realized. We think he looks a lot better than he used to, and we hope you agree. I mean, he could still be better, but like, he's definitely better than just this blob of Shape Tool shit. Shape Tool isn't always bad if you use it right, but when the, literally the entire thing is just Shape Tool, it does not look good. Insert bit where someone says, Come on, kid, did you draw this in MS Paint? I have to say, no, I drew it in Ibis Pen. And last but not least for now, we also made peanut shoot actual peanut projectiles instead of crusty, realistic PNGs like before. Because as we said, We've been trying to phase out more of the noticeable PNGs to make the mod less meme modern. Peanut himself has also been reworked alongside many other plants in the mod, which you may have caught by watching this video. All of which will be revealed when the update drops, of course. These balance changes will cause some big changes to our mod's meta that will change things forever. 
A certain big three OP points are being nerfed. Ones that players have overused and we feel have ruined the meta in different regards. We're keeping their identity secret for now. Can you guess who they are? And last but not least for our showcases, Hyper Leon! Hyper Fan Amp. Remember him from Far Future? Now he's kind of a useless special whose abilities were so useless that when he did that when he did do something, you couldn't help but cheer for him. Well, now he actually does shit. He's finally evolved to explode in a three x three radius around him at random, doing massive damage to plants in his vicinity. His HP has also been nerfed to balance out the fact that his ability actually does stuff now. And that closes up the fan art corner. A staple, a staple from my old video with his. Which this basically is, in a way, as it isn't a standard trailer or anything. It's really just a, of course, a special video that goes into the history of the mod and gives teases and thanks community all that show. Yeah. I thought I should showcase some fan stuff, give back to community, because I haven't been able to do this in a really long time. Most of the fan art isn't remix related at all, actually. The only stuff here actually related to remix isn't fan art, as it's by a dev. The dev, said dev being bummed. I feel like I could show it off, I, but I felt like I should show it off. It's some really cryptic and mysterious stuff that can anyone decipher what this guy's saying? And now on to our actual fan art. Basically all of which is of characters from my books. I'll put the fan art on the left, and the thing it's fan art of on the right. First off is Art of Sniper by Camo 4. Second off is Art of the Jaws of Devastation, also by Camo 4. Third off is Art of Duna by Sammy. Fourth off is Art of Kid Duna by Kiki. The design is pretty different from the actual Kid Duna, as it was Kiki's concept for what Kid Duna could look like as it was being made when Kid Duna was being designed. And fifth off is art of- why, is this even art? It's some sort of funny collage of Club Kid related things by, Radi by Radical Rally, also known as Bad Boy Bird, also known as Pimpsa. And well, with that, the script ends. That's our two years of remixed anniversary video. Thank you so much for watching, and your support over the years. Let's hope that we can finish this mod within the next two years. I genuinely wonder where me and the other devs will have taken this mod back. Remixed has come a long way, but it still has a long way to go. It still has a lot more junk to figure out. Hopefully, by the time we get modern day out, we'll finally fix those issues. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, tell us down below. If you have anything you'd like to see from us, tell us. More videos are on the way, I presume. Probably not like this, but maybe more maybe more video essays like this. We'll just have to see. No more promises though. Also the whole BFB video I teased in the original and the last video I say, it's cancelled. I cannot bring myself to complain about BFB. It's too boring. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye. <laughs>